So, uh, how'd you uh, spend your off season? Lived down in Arizona this year, down in Scottsdale, um, working out at a place called Fisher Sports. And then this past month, I've been over at the Giants Complex. So, just uh, getting some warm weather in, enjoying the off season, but ready to get back at it. Um, did you take any vacations at all? You know, I, I didn't. I went home right after the season. I went home back to Cincinnati for like a month, saw family and friends and stuff like that. And, you know, once November 1st hit, I was out in Arizona just getting going. Um, did you work out with any teammates uh, or other guys that, uh, you know, you played with, you know, in the minor leagues or whatever? Yeah, there was uh, there was three Giants guys that were at the Fisher Sports Place, Justin Fitzgerald and Steve Edlison. Um, and, you know, there's a bunch of other big league guys there from other teams and some, a few minor league guys. Um, the past three weeks, they actually, the Giants had a camp for the younger guys that are on the 40-man roster and, and a few of, like, the local Arizona guys that live there. So been working out with everyone for, like, three, three four weeks now. Um, do you worry about overtraining during an offseason? Uh, you know, as a pitcher, it might be different than as a hitter, but there's probably the tendency to, to worry about that either way. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, you always want to get stronger. That's always your main goal, but you kind of have to remember that you're a baseball player and not a, a bodybuilder. Um, so you gotta you got to scale things back, and, you know, when you first get into it, you're not really throwing or anything, so it's okay to, to lift. But once you get into your throwing, especially once you start to get off a mound, you kind of start to to scale things back as far as like upper body lifting and stuff like that, just to try to get the arm in shape and ready to go for you know 162 games. And uh, how did you uh, feel about uh, how you performed in the six starts that you had in the majors last year? Um, you know, I just try to take last year as an overall good experience. Um, I know I struggled my last few starts, and and I, and I know I need to improve in a lot of areas to uh, become a successful big league pitcher. Uh, but, you know, I, I try to take the year as a whole. I pitch well in the minor leagues, and, and I try not to lose sight of that, even though I, I struggled the last few games of the season. Um, did you go into last season thinking that there was a chance you'd get called up, or did that even enter your mind? You know, it, 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 it always enters your mind because you always, you know, that's – that's the main goal for everyone I think, yeah. that plays baseball. But you know, I was kind of coming off of a, a surgery, I had a hip surgery the, the off season before that. And my main thing was just to stay healthy, and, and I knew that if I stayed healthy, that I'd have a good shot. And I wanted to pitch well. And you know, you, you can't really worry about it too much. You just try to go out there and do the best you can, and kind of just let things fall where they do. Did the hit give you any issues at all last year? You know, it, it would bother me early in the season a little bit, but, you know, they told me going into it, first couple months, it's going to have to get used to the pounding again of just put, throwing on it every pitch after pitch. And then once, you know, once the end of the season came around, it felt pretty much back to normal. And, and this off season, it's felt great. How's your, uh, how's your life changed since uh, hitting the show? I, I mean, it hasn't, hasn't changed too much. I'm a pretty simple, laid-back guy. Um, you know, I got to I got to live in Arizona, I guess. So, you know, the weather was a little bit nicer. I had a little bit more money to spend on rent and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so that was nice. You know, you don't always have to worry about where you're gonna go out to dinner and stuff like that. So it was good. Did uh, anyone on the team, uh, probably pitchers, I'd imagine, kind of take you under their wing and, and show you what being in the big leagues is all about? Um, you know, I knew a few guys like Runzler. He was one of my good buddies. We actually we played in, in Salem together, you know, Oregon, in a short season ball, and then the next year. When he made his, you know, unbelievable run through the minor leagues, we started in Augusta together. So he was kind of a guy that I would I would lean on and just, you know, coming up not really knowing anyone. I hadn't gone to a big league spring training or anything. I wasn't really too sure about what to do, what yeah. to dress like, and stuff like that. So he was kind of a guy that I would go to and just bounce questions off of. Um, when you were up here, did were there uh, times where pitchers would? You know, kind of help you not just with life in the big leagues, but even with mechanics. You know, look at video. Uh, I see something in you in, in your delivery. Does that kind of thing happen with you guys? Um, you know, I didn't really talk to too many guys. You know, I talked to Regs about you know mechanics and stuff like that. But as far as most of the other pitchers, they were more talking to me about hitters on other teams and stuff like that. Just how to approach. A big thing once what that changes once you get up here is you have video on on other hitters and stuff like that, which you're not used to watching. I think they may have it in AAA, but I hadn't gone there yet, so I wasn't really used to 
breaking down film and stuff like that. So it was kind of cool to watch that with some of the catchers as well and just try to try to learn what they're looking for and stuff like that. And uh, last question, what do you what's what's your goal going in the spring training? Uh, obviously, you want to make the team, but uh, uh, have they talked to you at all about? potential opportunities or is it just go and pitch your best and see what happens yeah I mean they haven't really told me too much and, and I you know I know there's guys that, that are ahead of me and stuff like that but you know my goal is to pitch well no matter where I'm at and you know if things work out they work out and uh, you know I had a lot to improve on from from when I ended the season last year and I think the rest and getting stronger and everything like that will really help me out this year